Hi, my name's Fallon. I'm here today with Chegg Tutors to talk to you about control theory. So basically what control theory says is that people refrain from deviant behavior because of factors that control their impulses to break social norms. Basically what this boils down to is that deviance results from an absence of so social control. According to Walter Reckless, who was one of the first theorists to discuss this theory, um, this type of control can come from interpersonal, political, and legal sources, and there are two types, inner containment and outer containment. Inner containment is restraint from within a person, and outer containment is something preventing a behavior because of a factor in your environment. So an example where both of these two would be present would be the inner fear of uh, embarrassment and the outer element of a security system being in place, those two things might come together to prevent someone from stealing. Another theorist in on control theory was Travis Hershey, who developed bond theory, which is um, a sub theory of control theory. Basically what bond theory says is that people are less likely to commit deviant acts if they have four types of social bonds. So the first type is attachment, which is the extent to someone, excuse me, the extent to which someone feels bound to specific social groups. The second type is commitment, which is the degree of a person's stake in conforming behavior. The third type is involvement in non-deviant physical activities, so things like sports. And the fourth type of social bond is belief, which is how much a person ascribes to the dominant value system. So I'm going to give an example because I know I just said a lot. Um, so an illustration of bond theory would be a child that plays football, a, a teenage boy in sports in school. Um, has four types of social bonds. So he is attached very much to the people in his friend group who play football. He is committed to conforming to the social norms because he doesn't want to be kept from football. He is involved in physical activity, which is football, and he is invested in the moral system that comes along with those attachments. And because of him having these four social bonds, he's much less likely to commit a deviant act. So, like, be truant from school, not go to school, or get in a fight with his classmates because he is socially bound to that group, which makes him want less likely to want to be deviant. Um, basically, so to sum up control theory, when social bonds are weakened, a person is more likely to commit deviant acts. Um, these social bonds can come in the form of... Um, the four types that Travis Hershey talked about, or they can come from the types of control that Walter Reckless talked about, inner containment and outer containment from interpersonal, political, and legal sources. So, thank you for watching. If you have any extra questions or you need clarification, feel free to get in touch with me or another sociology tutor on the Czech Tutors website. Thank you!